Well, I went up in that attic to see what was making this noise, and there behind the trunk was a lion. Mm. Well, what you probably saw, Ernie, was uh, just another trunk. Well, it may have been a trunk, but it sure had a lion's tail. Ernie, Ernie, tell me something seriously. Now, what would a lion be doing up in our attic? <laughs> Howdy, and welcome to Hollywood Flashback. Today, we're plunging headfirst into the retro galaxy of My Three Sons, that evergreen sitcom that swiped the hearts of viewers coast to coast. Buckle up for the roller coaster journey with widower Steve Douglas and his trio of sons, where laughter, trials, and a truckload of family antics await at every turn. Join us as we mosey down memory lane and dish out what went down after the Douglas clan bid their fond farewells. Hang tight till the finale because we're about to spill the beans on the My Three Sons cast, uncovering the juicy tales of their lives beyond the iconic Douglas household. Fred McMurray as Steve Douglas Oh, it, I, I was being chased by a man all dressed in white. He had a long white beard. He was... Because I, I never felt that I was... One with the horse, you know. Fred McMurray brought warmth and wisdom to the role of Steve Douglas, a widowed aeronautical engineer managing parenthood with the help of Bub and later Charlie. Despite his fatherly presence, McMurray's acting roots ran deep, co-starring with legends like Katherine Hepburn and Joan Crawford. His pivotal role in the noir classic Double Indemnity in 1944 marked a significant turning point in his career, making him highly sought after in Hollywood. McMurray's effortless charm extended to Disney films, although many mistakenly associated My Three Sons with Disney due to his previous collaborations. Employing the McMurray method, he filmed his scenes separately, often leaving the cast to work without him. Following his iconic TV role, McMurray retired to his ranch, known for his frugality despite his substantial earnings. Unfortunately, his heavy smoking led to throat cancer, leading to his retirement and eventual passing in 1991 at the age of 83. William Frawley as Bub uh, I've got three grandsons, one of them in this school right now. <laughs> hey boss, the dame here to see you. <laughs> Bub, portrayed by William Frawley, was Steve's father-in-law and helped raise the sons during the black and white era of the show's first five seasons. He served as the housekeeper, and his role reunited him with Fred McMurray, whom he had worked with 25 years prior in the movie Car 99. Frawley had a notable career, appearing in films like The Fighting Seabees with John Wayne in 1944 and Miracle on 34th Street three years later. By 1951, having appeared in over 100 movies, he joined the new comedy series created by Desi Arnaz and Lucille Ball, landing the role of landlord Fred Mertz. Despite initial doubts from CBS due to Frawley's habit of showing up to work inebriated, he agreed to quit drinking while on set and became close friends with Desi. However, health issues led to his departure from I Love Lucy as insurance couldn't cover the aging actor and unfortunately he passed away in 1966 at 79 from a severe heart attack, following his replacement on the show, a move that didn't sit well with him. Tim Considine as Mike Douglas If this man dreamed he was being chased by a, a man with a long white beard carrying a truck... Uh, we learned. I mean, at first we were just doing a movie. Tim Considine, who portrayed Mike Douglas, Steve's eldest son on the show, married his fiancée, Sally Ann, and was subsequently written off the series, never to be mentioned again, which seemed unusual. To maintain the trio dynamic, a new son was introduced to the storyline. Tim began acting at 13 in 1953 alongside Red Skelton in The Clown, and had notable roles in Disney productions like The Adventures of Spin and Marty and various Hardy Boys series, including playing the role of Frank Hardy. Following My Three Sons, he appeared as a guest on shows like Bonanza, Gunsmoke, and had a memorable moment getting slapped by George C. Scott in the 1970 war epic Patton. Transitioning away from acting, Tim became an automobile historian, photographer, and writer, specializing in motorsports, 
while engaging with fan conventions and panels related to My Three Sons. Sadly, Tim Considine passed away in March 2022 at the age of 81. William Demarest as Charlie. Maggie, I've been doing some thinking. It's good to see you, Johnny. I haven't seen you since New Year's Eve. That's right. We were at yeah, a party it's together. A, it's an actress party. Charlie entered the show as Bub's younger brother and Steve's uncle-in-law, stepping in to replace the ailing Frawley. The two actors had a rivalry, noticeable even on set during the transition phase. Demarest Hollywood career began in the late 1920s, starring in earlier films like The Lady Eve and Sullivan's Travels in 1941. Before his role as Charlie, he found success on television as Jeb Gain in season 6 of Tales of Wells Fargo in the early 60s. His last acting appearance was in a TV movie, attempting to revive the 50s program The Millionaire in 1978. Known for his quiet intensity and comedic timing, Demarest remained a sought-after character actor well into his 80s. Although he was nominated once for an Oscar as Best Supporting Actor in the Jolson Story, he held My Three Sons as his most cherished project. Demarest passed away in 1983 at the age of 91, having experienced a versatile career ranging from vaudeville to boxing. Do you find the journeys of the My Three Sons cast as fascinating as we do? Drop a comment sharing your fondest My Three Sons memories and hit the like button if you've relished this nostalgic journey. Subscribe to Hollywood Flashback and hit the notification bell for more captivating stories from the golden age of television. Don Grady as Robbie Douglas How come I always dream about real glamorous stuff like algebra? <laughs> Son means a woman. Hey. Um, you only go around once. Go for it. That's the thing you gotta go for. That thing you really have a passion about. Robbie Douglas, the middle child on the show, married his college sweetheart Katie, portrayed in the series, while Don Grady appeared in nearly every episode except for one. Grady began his career in the late 1950s as a mouseketeer, before guest starring in various TV shows like The Restless Gun and The Rifleman. His role in My Three Sons marked one of his final acting gigs, aside from a brief return in 1983 for two episodes of Simon & Simon. Grady never left Hollywood, but shifted gears toward music, composing for films and TV shows, starting with My Three Sons and culminating in composing the theme song for The Phil Donahue Show, heard over a thousand episodes. His sister, Lanny O'Grady, who played Mary Bradford on Eight Is Enough, was discussed previously. Unfortunately, Don Grady passed away in June 2012 at 68 from myeloma. Tina Cole as Katie found I had date books going back to like the 80s. Uh -huh. Katie, Robbie's wife and Steve's daughter-in-law, might look familiar because she belonged to the King family singers. Tina Cole, her mother being Yvonne King and related to the King sisters, was a member of the King cousins. Following her time on the show, Tina transitioned into directing the Sacramento Children's Theater. While she made a semi-return in the 2020 movie Reawakened, she's now 79 and occasionally participates in interviews discussing her experience on My Three Sons. Her on-screen chemistry with Don Grady stemmed from a genuine, long-standing relationship during the show. Stanley Livingston as Chip Douglas Stanley Livingston and uh, he said uh, so what are you doing here and I go am I in trouble Chip Douglas was Steve's youngest son and alongside Fred McMurray he's the only actor to appear in every episode growing up on the show across its 12 seasons mirrored his real life growth in the final season Chip married his high school sweetheart Polly 
Post My Three Sons, Livingston ventured into voice work for Hanna-Barbera, featuring in shows like The Roman Holidays and Devlin. At 18, he married Sandra Livingston, and after their six-year marriage, they had a daughter, Samantha Livingston. In 2015, he remarried actress Paula Drake, and they remain married today. Transitioning to producing and directing in Los Angeles, he worked on children's shows for PBS in the early 2000s. At 72, Livingston remains active, offering interviews and upcoming panel appearances on his website, showcasing his life both on and off screen. Barry Livingston as Ernie. I'm awful glad you let me move in, Dad. But wouldn't it have been cheaper just to buy another toothbrush? Because the novel thing about the way they did shoot the show is that the Ernie, the son Steve adopts into his family, is actually Stanley's real younger brother, Barry Livingston, and he arguably had the most successful acting career among the children from the show. Barry started his acting journey on the adventure of Ozzie and Harriet, similar to his brother. You might also remember him from a season one episode of The Dick Van Dyke Show. He was part of significant film productions, such as 1987's Masters of the Universe and 1992's The Nut House. Notably, he's still active in the industry, having appeared in three episodes of Bosch as Gary Potter and reprised the role for Bosch Legacy in 2022. In October 2011, Barry released his autobiography, The Importance of Being Ernie, chronicling his career from My Three Sons to Mad Men and beyond. At 69, Barry Livingston continues to engage in acting roles, promising more to come in the future. As we bid farewell to the beloved My Three Sons cast, their legacy remains etched in the memories of classic TV enthusiasts. Their journeys post-Douglas household unveil a tapestry of diverse careers, enriching the entertainment industry and touching the hearts of audiences worldwide. Did the stories of the My Three Sons cast members leave you intrigued? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this nostalgic ride through TV history, don't forget to hit the like button and reminisce about your favorite moments from the show. For more captivating insights into the lives of iconic TV stars, remember to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell. Thank you for watching.